So I was watching a review of Captain Studley's The Witness, which everyone's casting as the best puzzle game ever, despite the fact I can play this game and probably get the same experience, when he brought up a quotation from the developer that really caught my attention. And he said this, and I found it intriguing, especially for my criticism of the work. What he said was, quote, Look, games are really kind of immature. They're playing in the kiddie pool a lot of the time. We, as video game designers, are creating a significant part of the modern environment, right? And we should be thinking about what that is doing to everybody. Now, this isn't actually the first time I've heard someone say that video games are rather quote-unquote immature. For some time, people have been questioning the idea of the video game medium being classified as an art form. And it's because of this thought progress that people start to push the idea that games need to match that merit, to the point where they're stating that video games need to grow up. Now before anyone accuses me of being some sort of common triple A game lover, I want to point out that one of my favourite games of all time is The Beginner's Guide, which I consider to be one of the best experiences I've ever had. However, another one of my favourite games is Danganronpa and Trigger Happy Havoc, which is basically a threesome between The Hunger Games Saw and Battle Royale. The problem with this games are art mentality that only the snobby hipsters seem to have is that if we treat video games as an art form, then we lose track of the original purpose of video games. This is why I think we need to step back and consider what video games originally were. Hence, why I've named the video, Video Games Are Not Art. Yes, I know this is clickbait, but how are you gonna watch my shit? Consider back to when video games being art was never even thought about, and games focused more on being a source of entertainment. There was no real thought about video games having any meaning, it was more about do goal to get win. As technology advanced, game developers put more effort into their storylines, and whilst games kept the same premise of complete the goal to win, the meaning ended up coming more from the story. It wasn't something that was forced, but rather something that gamers might only notice subconsciously. Fast forward to today, and now it seems that the meaning has been painted in blood on the wall because the game developer thinks it's more powerful and artsy to do so. And yet the gaming media will swallow it up praising the game for just those things. And yet the games that just want to be entertaining are blast for being sexist, violent, disgusting and just plain problematic. And it's this sort of mentality that has caused people to demand that the games change to their own political agenda or else be condemned. No longer can games be just a form of entertainment. That is just being an inventor. We must look to games in a more artistic light. This whole idea goes against what video games were originally meant to be. And look, I honestly don't agree with the idea that video games aren't an art form. There are a lot of games that I could consider artistic through a visual or interactive presentation. And ultimately, video games are a form of entertainment and an also escapism. For people to demand reality in a media trying to escape it kind of feels rather pointless. And now these days, developers are focusing more and more on trying to be some sort of artsy or revolutionist, yet are forgetting about what makes a good game. Portal isn't considered a great game because it's classed as artsy or powerful, though there may be some merits for those, but because of what it does as a game, it does well. Sunset, however, is not considered a great game because it focuses on trying to be different and just comes off as rather a boring experience. Video games were not originally made for some form of artistic merit, they were made for people to play with. If you keep with this mentality that video games are art and nothing more, you might as well tell board games to grow up and make some sort of formy, artsy board game with no pieces and all the cards that say move back one. Look, if you want to have a game that has a powerful meaning or fits more to reality, then fine, go ahead. But if you focus too much on trying to revolutionise the game industry, then don't be surprised when gamers think your product is appalling. Gamers don't want games that try too hard to be deep with supposed powerful meanings that even M. Night Shyamalan would say was overdoing it. They want games that appeal to them, from the long journeys with amazing storylines to the traditional first person shooter to the small indie game that goes beyond expectations. In short, do I think video games can be considered art? Yes. Do I think video games should strive to be art? No. Hey, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, give it a thumbs up, and for every thumbs up, I will paint a picture of my penis and then class it as some sort of artistic merit and say it should belong in some museum anywhere. And if you enjoy me, then you might enjoy Captain Sutley, a guy who is an up-and-coming YouTuber who has very few subscribers. Well, then he has very few videos. He started doing reviews, which is what caught me to do this video. And I honestly think that you should go to him, check him out, and maybe subscribe, because he honestly deserves 
more attention. And if you enjoy me, then maybe you can consider subscribing. I don't know if you do. I mean, I could make more content like this. It's sort of my new brandish of the channel. I know I've been here for five years, but I haven't been doing much of my life. <laughs> so, you know, go and do whatever you want. Thumbs up, comment, subscribe, don't subscribe. Buy a car, drive it into a building. Steal the money, don't steal the money, don't do that, please, don't, don't do that. They might say that I caused you to do that, and I'll get in trouble for helping people rob banks. So don't do that, please. I should shut up now. I'm going. Bye.